Please welcome Adam Saruga and his presentation about double standards. So, hello everybody, I'm Adam, and today I'm going to talk about double standards in our society and their connection to sexism, and how are they a pro uh, I'm going to talk about how are they a problem for us and how we need to overcome them. So, uh, imagine the society, well, uh, and uh, imagine double standards. For those of you who don't know uh, what double standards are, they are basically uh, different situations in which we differently judge two groups of people. For, uh, and in my presentation, I'm mostly going to talk about men and women. So I'm going to uh, go to proceed to the next, first example. So imagine a woman that enjoys the company of men. Imagine a woman that likes men, that likes talking to them, that likes uh, spending time with them. Imagine a woman that had had, for example, five or ten boyfriends uh, d during the last month. So now you probably don't really have uh, high me. Well, you don't really consider this woman to be somebody who is good. You probably consider uh, her somebody who has bad moral values, somebody who isn't really good enough for uh, being in high society, and you would simply call this woman an easy woman. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have to, well, what if I told you now, what if there were a plot twist, and what if I told you that this was a man, and this man had, let's say, 10 or 15 girlfriends in the last month? You would probably not think that uh, this is some kind of bad man. You would probably call him a player and a man who really knows how to talk to women and how to uh, how to keep on conversing with them and how to. Uh, he's simply something that is uh, someone that is confident around women and knows how to talk to them and knows uh, what to do in order to attract them. But uh, the problem. What is the problem here? The problem is that if you take a look at women, you probably don't really look at a look at her in a positive light. You probably look at her as somebody bad. But if you look at this man, you don't really consider him a bad person. You, you uh, you're amazed, or mo I, I, I assume that most people in society are somehow amazed by his skills in talking to women and attracting them. So this is something that I really don't like. And I'm going to also uh, show you a similar example in the next one. So uh, I'm going to tell you a story now. Like a couple of years ago when I was 15, uh, a friend of mine came to me and told me, oh, hey, Adam, how are you? What's up? And I said, oh, not much. What's up with you? And he said, oh, so I got this new you know, girlfriend. And I was like, cool. And he said, oh, she's 18. I was amazed. I didn't really uh, think that this guy, well, by the way, he was 14. I didn't really think that he was some kind of uh, a bad guy. I didn't consider him a bad guy. The only thing that evoked in me was the feeling of some kind of amazement and impression. I was really impressed that he could uh, somehow attract a woman like this, an older woman. But actually, what if we look at uh, it from another perspective? What if I told you, uh, or w what if we have seen an 18-year-old guy dating a 14-year-old girl? That would probably not be something that would most of you like, or that, that would not be something impressing. You would consider this guy to be some kind of bad guy that uh, that really, well, you could call him pedophile, you could call, call, call him names, but you certainly would not be amazed by his skills and you would not be impressed. So again, this is something that is in, unequal in today's society. And I'll also sh show, sh try to show it to you on another example. So. Uh, I assume that most of you see women as somebody who's weaker in society or has at least, well, in the terms of if we are talking uh, about men and women, you consider uh, women the weaker one or at least in today's world, most of society does, which is something really bad. Because uh, now let's say that there is a girl with, who has weight problems and who is not really uh, confident about her body. So now, what would the most of society do? They would probably see her uh, as somebody who they need, uh, who needs support. They would see her as somebody who needs uh, comforting words and uh, other stuff in order for her, to, for, for her to feel confident. So what they do is that they encourage her. Uh, well, I assume that many of you know internet uh, popular phrase, which is something like "real men like curves," and uh, this is like something. Uh, that is really 
I would not really say that it's correct to do this, or well, maybe it is, but if we, again, if we had a guy who has weight problems, we would probably not think of him as someone who needs support or who needs confidence. And if we look at a relationship like this, the feeling that immediately, or the, uh, the idea that immediately strikes my mind is that he's somebody who's probably rich, because otherwise the girl would not be interested in him. But this is something uh, that I believe is a burden in today's society. And so, but the problem is that there are countless or of other examples. For example, uh, why if a guy beats women, he's considered to be somebody bad, but if a woman beats a guy, she's considered uh, a strong woman who stands up for her. And then why if a guy holds an umbrella and tries to be gentle uh, for a woman, he's considered to be some, some kind of guy who needs respect and a gentleman, but if a woman does it for a man, she, the man looks selfish and somehow weak. Why is this so? Then why is, for example, harassment on, uh, in, your, in your work considered to be something much more, uh, something much worse from uh, the side of men than from the side of women? And why can girls wear pink t-shirts but guys can't? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is something that I really don't like in today's society. And why do I not like it? Because if we treat different groups of people differently, and in these terms it's men and women, uh, it means that there is no equality. And equality is one of the basic principles of democracy and of the 21st century that we live in. And as Aesop says, every truth has two sides. It is as well to look at both before we commit ourselves to either. So uh, what do I recommend to you and how can, you, or how can society eventually overcome this problem and finally upgrade to the 21st century is every time you see somebody doing something immoral, try look at it, looking at it from other perspective. Try imagining your best friend in that situation or, or yourself in that situation. Look at it from other perspectives and don't be hypocritical as the, the society is today because that is something that is really a burden and we really need to overcome this to achieve the equality that is one of the basic of democratic principles in today's world. So that will be all from my, from my side. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.